Welcome back. Ohio Valley and Trevecca Nazarene yet to play a ball game. And then Hillsdale is at the bottom. They've started the season with four straight losses. We'll take a look at today's schedule. Starting to get uh, more and more uh, games being able to be played as teams get a handle of the coronavirus here. And uh, three games in action. Uh, Walsh is hosting Cedarville. That'll be a 1 o'clock start. Tiffin hosting Malone also at 1 o'clock. And then third game will be, of course, the Oilers hosting KWC. This is KWC picked uh, to win, or picked to finish near the top of the GMAT conference. Uh, brings back uh, the large majority of their team from last year, which was one of the best teams in the region. You heard Coach Weedy talk about it. They want to get up and down, shoot the three ball, active defensively. Uh, so it will be a challenge. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Weedy decides to do. Or there's definitely the taller team here today. You know, like six three, six foot tall, six foot tall on the front line and the subs they bring in also around that same height. So, but uh, KWC just has one player on their roster at six foot or taller, and that's uh, Karina Conley, who does not start. So it's going to be a, a battle of styles, you might say, here in Knee Camp Arena. Well, right now it's time to step aside for the National Anthem, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip on Home of the Oilers, 88.3 WLFC. Welcome back to Knee Camp Arena. Starting lineup time here for the ball game. And we'll first start with Kentucky Wesley and line on the floor by number five, Leah Richardson. She's five foot seven, a redshirt junior from Albany, Ohio. Next guard announced will be Kaylee Duncan, five foot six senior from Dixon, Kentucky. And guard as well will be Lily Miller, five foot five senior from Harden, Kentucky. She can shoot it from uh, long range. At the forward position be Jordan Barga, 5'11", sophomore from Farmland, Indiana. And then at another guard will be Kaylee Clifford, 5'11", senior. She's from Bedford, Kentucky. Kentucky Wesleyan, two head coaches, Caleb and Nicole Neiman. And they are one and one on the season. And now go ahead and take a look at the starting lineups here for the University of Finley as the lights come out here in Croy. And Oilers 
Hawks not tweaking with the starting lineup. Jim Weedy keeping with it. And very frustrated as you listen to that interview. Uh, last ball game, thought that was a game they should have won and unable to get it. Uh, but uh, here we go with the starting lineups. We'll see who's announced first here. That guard would be Amber Schweiger, five foot seven from uh, junior from Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. She averages 18 points per contest. The two guard will be Allison Utterback. Allison is a five foot six senior from Greenwood, Indiana. She averages seven points per game. At four would be Bridget Landon, six foot tall junior. She's from Ottaville. Bridget averages 20 points per contest and pulls down nine rebounds. At another four will be Richard. Or Rachel Cook, six-foot-tall sophomore from Thornville. Rachel averages five points per game and pulls down three rebounds. And the center position will be Sydney Ken, six-foot-three junior from Cary, averages 14 points per game and pulls down seven rebounds. The order is coached by Jim Wheat. This is Jim's eighth season as the head coach of the Oilers. 60, excuse me, 117 wins to 83 defeats, and the Oilers two and two on the young season and looking for a win to get off from that loss on Thursday. Oilers will be in their home white jerseys. KDBC in their road and black jerseys. Our three officials, Jordan Pingle, Kyle Potcutter, and Steve Lazaroff. That'll be Sydney Kinn to jump center here. Kaylee Kilt Clifford for Kentucky Wesleyan. We'll wait Jordan Pingle to step to the center stripe. And we'll get this one started here. We get a whistle. Ball's in the air, and the Oilers win the tap. Ball comes back to Amber, finds Bridget Landon. One dribble across the timeline, and here we go. Schweiger come left side over. To Cook, feed it down low into Bridget. Up and in for two. Good position underneath. Bridget Landon on the board first. Here comes KWC. This is Lily Miller. She'll be the point guard. Throw it over the top to Clifford. Oilers in there, 1-3-1. Come down to the corner to Duncan. Back up top. Reverse it right side to Miller. Miller, a couple dribbles. She'll dive into the lane. Cross court over to Clifford. Wide open for three. No good. Rebound tapped around. Comes away to KWC. They'll go back up with it. And a traveling violation as Varga corrals the rebound and walks with the basketball. So here comes Schweiger. She'll come across the timeline. Hand off right side to Utterback. Utterback come all the way back up to the top of the key. Looking to reverse it. Does to Sydney Kinn. Feed down under low. Stolen away. Ball's on the floor and should have a jump ball to go to KWC. Position. It'll be Panther basketball. Miller will take the inbound pass. And now working against the 1-3-1. Send it to Richardson. Now back to Miller over to Richardson. A little ball fake. Get into the elbow all the way to the 10. Scoop the hoop left hand is up and good. Hung on the front of the rim there for a while, but goes in. All tied up here at 2 early on here in the first quarter. Schweiger come down the left sideline now. Go left baseline, send it over the corner to Utterback. She'll take the three. Offensive foul, though, on Schweiger, as they say. I believe that was Duncan stepped in, took the charge, and will go back the other way. Miller over the top of the zone to Clifford. Now nice pass down to the short corner, trying to go to Duncan. Duncan just stopped. I think I think. Clifford with the right idea there. Duncan stopped, and KWC turns it over. 2-2 here early on. 8.30 to go here in this first quarter. Schweiger across the timeline behind the back dribble. Come around a high ball screen from Ken. Now up top to Landon. Reverse it right side to Utterback. Allison might have drugged that pivot foot. Ball comes to the corner to Cook. She's open for three. She'll take it from there. That's up and good. Rachel Cook. Nice pass from Ken over to Cook in the corner. 5-2. to two. Oilers out in front. Quickly back the other way. Comes Miller. She'll get in the line. The lane now kick out. Left side to Duncan. Back up top. Clifford. 20 on the shot clock. Send it right side over to Johnson. Now down to the right corner. Back out. Working against this 1-3-1. One, one. Clifford out by the volleyball line. Now comes to Lily Miller. She'll get into the lane. Reverse pivot. Go back out to Clifford. She'll take another three up and good. Kaylee Clifford deadly from downtown. 
All tied up at five. Schweiger races it the other way. Come back out to Utterback. Send it over the corner. Wide over is Rachel Cook. She'll take it again. Buried it. Rachel Cook back-to-back -back threes. Six points for Cook and an 8-5 to five lead. Finley out in front. Clifford looking over the defense. Nice pass underneath to Johnson. Up and in for two. Came from the left point down to the right block. Nice diagonal pass. Gets KWC within one. Schweiger right side of the floor. She'll hand off to Utterback. Send it inside to Ken. Turn. Face. Come out to Landon. Landon from downtown. Off the back iron. Whistle. And a foul. Foul's going to go against Kentucky Wesleyan College. It'll be Jordan Barga who picks up the foul. Baseline out of bounds for the Oilers. Schweiger. Send it all the way back by the volleyball line to Landon. Now go to the high post to Ken. She'll go right to the rim, up and in for two. No hesitation by Sydney Ken. Got the left-handed runner to go and back to a three-point lead for Finley. Clifford with the touch at the left point. Send it over to the left corner to Johnson. Looking inside, not there. Come back around the perimeter over right side to Miller. Miller trying to get on the move, unable to do it. Has to go to the corner to Clifford. Now back out Johnson, 14 on the shot clock. Johnson in the lane, center of the corner. Open for three is Miller, no good. And a rebound to Sidney Ken. Boy, they're trying to be smart with the basketball. Don't really want to run with KWC. Slowing it down here on the offensive end. Here's Utterback at the left point. Crossover dribble. Now she'll get in the lane. Come to the right side to Schweiger. Cross court over to Cook. But we get a whistle and another foul. Foul will go against the Panthers. So baseline out of bounds here for Finley. Schweiger throw it all the way up top to Landon. Back into the corner to Amber. 15 on the shot clock. Ball comes back out to the top of the key here to Utterback. Come around a high ball screen to the right side. Lost the basketball. Picked it up. Cross court left side to Cook. Cook will take another three. No good. Rebound. Picked up by KWC and a quick outlet ahead. Send it the other way. Here comes Duncan. Getting a length over the left hand. No good. Rebound. Picked up by Rachel Cook. Rachel's been active here today. Schweiger. She'll start on the left side this time. Hand off to Cook. Come around a ball screen from Landon. Feed it underneath to Ken. Tough catch. Lost the basketball. Picked up by the Panthers. They want to run. Here's Miller. Miller. Line to Lane. Crossover dribble. Throw to left hand. Missed it, but is fouled. Cook got her. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. Substitutions. Coming into the ball game, Johnson will come back in. Kendall Mick will come in for the Oilers. Also in the ball game is Karina Conley for KWC. First foul shot in the air, up and good for Lily Miller. Second opportunity here for Miller. It is on its way. Got them both. 10-9. Oilers out in front. 5.38 to go here in this first period. Schweiger come down the left sideline. Out by the volleyball line. Calls out the set. Now will drive into the lane. Center of the corner. Whistle and hold. Out of a foul, I believe. That will go against Lily Miller. It's going to be the third team foul against KWC. So another baseline out-of-bounds out opportunity here. Schweiger to inbound. Trying to go into Landon. Has to come out to Cook right in front of the KWC bench. It's tapped out-of-bounds by Nolot. So it'll stay here with the Oilers. 19 on the shot clock. Ball comes back to Schweiger. KWC in man-to-man -man now. Amber trying to get to the, in, uh, to the, lane, or to the uh, bucket that time. Throws it up. Missed it. Rebound KWC, no lot. Top of the key, center of the corner, three-pointer on the way by Conley. That's off the front iron and rebound to Landon. Quickly back the other way come the Oilers with a one-point lead. Schweiger, right side of the floor, hand off to Mick. Mick around a high ball screen all the way to back to the top of the key. Now at the left point. 
Crossover back to the right side to Schweiger. Feed inside Ken. Throw it up from there. Bucket in the foul. No, offensive foul. Offensive foul called by Jordan Pingle that time. And that'll negate the basket and it'll go back the other way. And we'll get immediate timeout. 4.54 to go here in this first quarter. Oilers lead it 10-9. Back to the studio, 88.3 WLC. Welcome back to Camp Arena. 4.54 to go here in this first quarter. Oilers lead it 10-9. Finley shooting 57%. KWC at 43%. New players in the ballgame. Elizabeth Flynn has checked in for Finley. KWC with the basketball. Shaylee McDonald has checked in. She has the basketball. Goes to no lot. Now back to McDonald left side. Trying to work against the 1-3-1. One, one. Double team comes. Go back. No lot on the right point. Into the corner. Wide open for three is Richards. She'll take it. No good. That was Richardson. Excuse me. Rebound to the Oilers. Outlet and full court pass ahead to Flynn. Flynn down the short corner. Tried to go to Kim, but turned it over. Picked up by Conley. Conley come top the key. Now right side over to Johnson. Johnson from downtown. That's short. Another rebound, battered around, goes out of bounds off the hands of Kentucky Wesleyan, so it'll be away the basketball. Schweigert, take it across the timeline, now come left point with it. Dive in the lane, whistle, no whistle. Bodies flying everywhere, picked up by KWC. This is Richardson, top of the key, she'll pull up from the foul line, no good. Rebound, picked up by Flynn. Send it ahead to Schweiger. Schweiger now back the other way, left side, Flynn. Send it inside, ball getting batted around. Another turnover by Finley. Picked up by KWC, full court pass ahead. This is Richardson in the lane, come back out to Johnson. Johnson with the ball fake, find no lot, wide open for three. That's up, no good, and another rebound to Finley. Score still 10-9 to here early on in the first quarter. Schweiger, hand off to Mick. Mick now up at the top of the key. Now by the volleyball line, come left side over to Flynn. Flynn feed it inside to Landon. One dribble, throw it up from there, missed it. Rebound on the floor, still battling, and picked up by KWC. Panthers on the move. Top of the key to McDonald. McDonald diving in the lane, in trouble, lost the basketball. Another turnover as we just keep going back and forth here. Both teams struggling on the offensive end. Lynn, Landon feed it in underneath the kin. Tough catch, one dribble, but she's fouled, and the fourth team foul against Kentucky Wesleyan College. Rachel Cook will check into the ball game. Rachel will come in and Bridget Landon will come out. Schweiger. One to go to Mick. Now she does. Be able to catch it left side of the floor. Top of the key to Ken. Now back to Mick. 18 on the shot clock. Kendall comes top of the key. Right point now Cook. Feed it down low. Double team comes against Ken. Turn face. Bucket's good. Sydney Ken. Hot start here early on. Right side to Clifford. Clifford back. Left side of the floor to Lily Miller. Nearly got her pocket pick. Did. Out of bounds. It'll be a turnover. So Oilers 
Very active on the defensive end. Check the turnover numbers here. A lot of them for both teams here in the first quarter. Finley's turned over seven times. KWC now four. Serena Samarone has checked in the ball game. She has the basketball right in front of the KWC bench. Come to the top of the key with Cook. Rachel back right side to Mick. 20 on the shot clock. Kendall cross court over to the corner to Flynn. Thought about the three. Still with it. Has to come top of the key. Reset it with Samarone. Crossover dribble into the lane. Reverse pivot. Still with it. In trouble. Nine on the shot clock. Able to find Flynn. Flynn loses the basketball as well. Ball's on the floor, still on the floor, and picked up by Clifford. Outlet pass down the left sideline here. Now back to the middle to Richardson. Richardson then picks up the foul. This one's going to go against Sam Marone. So into the ball game is Kate Ellis, five-foot freshman from Perrysburg. She'll check in, and Flynn will check out. Baseline out of bounds for KWC. Miller to inbound. Wanted to go in and no lock. Has to come back to Clifford. Clifford defended by Ken. Oilers now in man to man. Miller out by the volleyball line, trying to find a way to get downhill. Does. Center right corner. Into the paint comes Duncan. Now back out to Clifford. She's wide open for three. That's no good. And Cindy Ken with another board. Well, there's a three-point lead, just under two minutes to play here in this first quarter. Crossover dribble by Samarone, back out to Ellis. Ellis, right-handed dribble, comes top of the key with it. Send it back inside, another, another turnover, number nine, picked up by KWC. Back to him another way with Miller. Turn back to Clifford, over to Nolot, left side. Her three is no good. Rebound on the floor is picked up by Barger. Her putback is good. Jordan Barger, 5'11 sophomore from Farmland, Indiana. Gets KWC within one point. With the 115 mark here in the first quarter. Mick around a high ball screen, left point. Now inside Ken. Ken tough catch. Buckets good. What a pass by Rachel Cook. Just firing it in there. Lead back up to three. Miller quickly back the other way. Come right side. Three on the way by Nolot. Off the mark. Rebound picked up by Ellis. Full pass ahead here to Sam Marone. Crossover in the lane. Nearly lost it. Comes back to Ellis. Line up a long range bomb. That's an air ball, no good. And a rebound to the Panthers. 45 seconds to go into first. Miller in the lane, come back to the corner. Another three on the way by Barger is good. Five straight points by Jordan Bargain. We're all tied up at 14. About 32 seconds to play here. Jim Weedy going to call out the set. Dribble his clock down a little bit. Go right side to Mick. Mick, top of the key, Cook, trying to go underneath, not there. He has to go left side to Ellis. Ellis, the baseline dribble, now comes back to Cook. Feed it inside, stolen away. Picked up by Johnson. Quick outlet ahead, and now the ball's on the floor. Whistle and a jump ball. It's going to go back to the Oilers with 6.4 left here in this first quarter. Ball has been on the floor a lot. Conley will check in. Also checking back in, I believe, is Johnson. Cook sent it into Sam Marone. Now five seconds as she passes half court. Sam Marone throws it away. Ball's on the floor, picked up, throw it up from half court. Shot never got off. That's going to be our first quarter score. Oilers and Panthers all tied up at 14. Back to studio, 88.3 WLC and UFTV.
Welcome back to Knee Camp Arena, all tied up at 14. Boy, they're shooting 54%. KWC at 31%, but Finley has turned it over 11 times. Good news for the Oilers is KWC has yet to really make those turnovers hurt Finley. It will be Kentucky Wesleyan basketball to start. Sam Marone, Cook, Paige Bellman has checked in. Utterback back into the ball game, and then Kate Ellis. Duncan will inbound here for KWC. Ball come in to Miller. Miller back right side to Duncan, working against the 1-3-1, one, one, throw over the top of that. Now back right side. Ball tried to come into the corner. Cross court now the other corner to Johnson. She's open for three. That's off the front iron. No good. Ball's on the floor. Battled. And it'll come to the Oilers. Sam Maroon. Across the timeline to the top of the key. Come right side. Now kick out to Utterback. Utter back around a high ball screen from Bellman. 18 on the shot clock. Allison in the lane, throw to the left hand, left it short. Ball's on the floor and picked up by Utterback. She'll attack back to it, throw it up with the right hand. It's good. Allison Utterback, nice little step through there to get the bucket to go. And Finley back with a two point lead. Miller, throw it right side to Duncan. Now into the corner, then back out to Duncan, right point. Left side, Miller, back into the corner to Johnson, open for three, take another one. Way short, but an offensive rebound. Conley with the putback and good. Warriors have not been able to take advantage of the fact KWC is not shooting a high percentage here. Utterback at the right point now double back trying to get down the block does. Crazy shot, no good. Rebound picked up by Barga. Barga ahead down the left sideline to Miller. Miller comes top of key. She got her pocket pick. Picked up by Bellman. Running back the other way with Serena Samarone. Serena Line to the lane, pass out to Ellis. Little 14-footer is an air ball and picked up by KWC. Quick outlet down the left sideline. Here's Miller. Miller ahead to Conley. Conley up for two and the foul. Nice pass by Lily Miller and credit Karina Conley running the floor. Got the hoop and the harm and now a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play at the line. So Conley at the line. Kendall Mith Mick has checked back in the ball game. Utterback has come out. Foul shot in the air for Conley. Up and good. Three-point lead is largest of the day here for KWC. 19-16. Just underway here in the second period. Sam Marone to the right point. Verse pivot at the elbow. Kick to the corner to Ellis. Back to Serena at the left point. Serena crossover. Get to the left block. Throw it up. Whistle and a blocking foul. And that'll send Samarone to the line to shoot two. I'm going to say the defender was in the half circle there. Substitution. Bridget Landon will come into the ball game. Ellis will come out. First foul shot. Up and good for Serena. Serena Samarone, five foot six sophomore from Canfield, Ohio. Waiting, well, we have some confusion here at Press Row, I think. Now we'll go ahead and get the ball. Second opportunity for Samarone. Got them both. 19 to 18, 8 14 to go here in this second quarter. Oilers trail by one. McDonald come left side to Clifford. Now back to McDonald at the left point. Trying to get to the elbow. Does send to the corner to No Lot. No Lot. Triple drive into the lane. Now out to Clifford. Clifford thought about it, but goes down to Conley. Conley will attack. Turn face. Throw it up the right hand. No good. Blocked away, I believe, by Bellman that time. Conley, though, got her own rebound. Goes back with it and is fouled. So Conley, just a freshman. Doing work down there. Back to the line for two more free throws. Conley, foul shot off the back iron, no good. Let's 
Second opportunity for Conley in the air, up and good. So here's Sam Marone. Come down the right sideline. Hand off to Mick. Mick around a high ball screen back to the top. The key stolen away by Clifford. Clifford on the move. She'll come to the elbow. Now turn. Wide open. Didn't take the shot. Go to no lot. Trying to attack. Unable to. Come out to Johnson. Take another three. That's well short. And Cook with the board. Well, there's trail by two, but half possession. Mick. Right side. Come over to the left point to Sam Road. Feed it down on the knee to Landon. Up and in for two. Nice catch. Bridget Landon and went right to the left hand. All tied up at 20. Right side to Johnson. Back over here. Left side Richardson. Cross court in the corner to Clifford. She'll go ahead and try another three. That's up and good. Kaylee Clifford regains the lead here for KWC. Check some of the numbers here. Three-point shooting. Three of 15 now for KWC, but they do have a three-point lead. Sam Marone going to get right to the 10, turn it over, tried to pass it. Ball's on the floor, but credit Mick getting down and grabbing it. Should be a jump ball, and it is. It'll stay with the Oilers. Flynn comes back into the ball game, as does Amber Schweiger. So Rachel Cook to inbound. Send it over here to top the key to Schweiger. Schweiger left side, Flynn. Flynn tried to go underneath to land and balls on the floor and that'll be another turnover. So Panther basketball, ball come into Miller. Oilers will set their 1-3-1 back left side to Duncan. Duncan trying to go back to Miller in trouble. Comes left side and get back to Miller. Now in the corner, Clifford, same spot, different result. Left it short, but an offensive rebound picked up by KWC. A shot by Barga up and good. Five straight points by the Panthers and a five-point lead. Schweiger across the timeline. Now will come... Left point with it, defended by Conley. Backdoor cut to Flynn. Flynn lost the basketball. Ball's on the floor again. Another jump ball. <laughs> Quick substitution here by KWC. Bring back into the ball game Leah Richardson. And Duncan will check out. Ball will come into Landon out by the volleyball line. Back right side, feed it down low, stolen away. It's an unbelievable amount of turnovers here by the Oilers here in this first half. Varga hands to Clifford, come inside to Conley. Another stolen away there by Paige Bellman, picked up by Schweiger. She'll run it back the other way. Come to the top, now right side, Mick Kendall. Wide open for three, no good. Rebound picked up by Clifford. Full court pass ahead, nearly stolen away, but picked up by Miller. Miller come to the top, now back out of it, all the way back by the volleyball line. Bounce pass left side to Clifford. Clifford throw it over the top of the 1-3-1, back right side. Now gets the ball back left in the corner. Three-pointer on the way by Barja. No good. Rebound picked up by Schweiger. 5.20 to go in the first half or in second quarter. KWC up 25-20. to Schweiger by the volleyball line. Now will come left point to Bellman. Cross court in the corner to Mick. Open for three. She'll take it. Got it. Kendall Mick. Outstanding three-point shooter. Low pass. Able to get it off. Oilers within two. Come to Clifford. She's wide open for three. Missed that one short. Rebound on the floor. Should be a traveling violation, and it is. And we get a buzzer, and that will be our media timeout. 4.53 to go here in this second quarter. Kentucky Wesleyan with a 25-23 lead. Back to studio, 88.3 WLC and UFTV.
Welcome back to Unique Camp Arena. Kitty DC with a 25-23 lead. 4.53 to go in the second quarter. Oilers shooting 50%, but have turned it over 14 times. KBC only shooting 31%, including just 3 of 18 from 3. Left side to Kendall Mick. Feed it down low to Ken, and it's another turnover. It's a jump, if it's a jump ball, it's going to go to Kentucky Wesleyan College, and it is. But the Oilers lucky to be in this ball game, only down 2. When you look at the fact that KWC is shooting 9 of 27 from the floor. Boy, there's 15 turnovers in this ball game. Miller out by the volleyball line. Throw it over the top to Johnson. Back right side Miller. Now come to the right corner to no lot. Back top of the key. Miller left side Johnson. Another three for her. That's no good. As look at the numbers just on Johnson. Emma Johnson now 0 of 5 from downtown. So Oilers can tie or take a lead here with a field goal. So close in on the 4.15 mark here in this second quarter. Schweiger comes top of the key. Crossover dribble. Another turnover. Ball's on the floor. And it goes to KWC. As Oilers just not able to handle the basketball amongst this pressure from Kentucky Wesley. And then also maybe some unforced errors as well. Just trying to feed it inside too much. Johnson across the timeline, go back to Miller, left side, now in the corner to No Lot. No Lot, dribble out of pressure, get into the lane, go back to Johnson, open for three. She'll try it again, that's no good. Rebound on the floor, Ken able to corral it, and traveled with the basketball. So baseline out of bounds for Miller, who will inbound. Miller throw it in to Duncan. Duncan over to Johnson. Hey, one more time. That's short. 0 for 7 is Emma Johnson now, but she has not been bashful about shooting it. Left side to Mick. Mick top the key to Landon. Landon inside Ken. Throw it up from there. Can't get it, but it's fouled. And Cindy Ken will go line to shoot too. And really nice job by the Oilers to move the basketball quickly. And Ken will be at the line for two free throws. First foul shot for Sidney Kent, up and good. Second opportunity, also good for Sidney. So we're all tied up at 25, 3.30 to go here in this second quarter. Left side, or right side to No Lot, back left to Miller. Miller and No Lot will pay, play catch, come to the right point with it. Nearly stolen away by Mick, but comes to Johnson. Johnson up top, reverse it left side, ball in the corner, three on the way by Duncan, up and good. Nothing but net that time, but good ball reversal by the Panthers, and they're back out in front by three, 28 to 25. Schweiger, top of the key with it, crossover dribble, find Landon at the elbow, ball fake, step back, no, comes back left side to Ellis. Ellis feed it inside to Ken, Sydney offensive foul, I'm getting no traveling violation. Probably could have been either one of them. I like see Sydney do there is just turn and pass it to the corner or turn with a ball fake, put the ball on the floor, but credit KWC with good defense. Miller throw it over top to No Lot, back to the corner to Duncan, ball fake. Come back up top, No Lot, open for three, didn't take it. Send it right side to Miller, 15 on the shot clock. No Lot looking to drive the basketball, can't do it. Back to the corner to Johnson, ball fake, she'll get in the lane, a lot of contact and an offensive foul. Johnson turns it over. It's going to be her second foul. She's going to have to come out of the ball game. Clifford's going to come in. So Clifford checks in for Johnson. 2.34 to go in the second quarter. Not a lot of rhythm to this ball game. KWC up by three, 28-25. Schwager on the left side of the floor. Baseline drive. Throw it up from four. No good. Another offensive foul. Schwager a little out of control. Picked up the offensive foul. That means Samarone will come in. That's Amber's second foul. Substitutions for KWC. Conley back in the ball game. Also, Rich, also McDonald.
So it'll be KWC basketball after we get the perspiration cleaned up here on the floor. So here's McDonald. Bounce pass ahead, right side to Duncan. Duncan in the corner to Clifford. Clifford cross court, nice pass over to Barger, then back right side, working around this zone. Looks like a 2-3 zone now by the Oilers. In the lane for Duncan, back out Clifford, open for three, she'll take it. That's good, Kaylee Clifford knocks it down. And really a nice stroke from her. 35 to 25, down under two to play in the second quarter. KWC out in front, Sam Marone trying to find space, coming to the corner to Mick. Mick, nice pass to Ellis. Ellis up with the right hand left, got it. Kendall Mick, beautiful pass. Ellis on the backdoor cut on the baseline. Oilers now within four. Left side to Clifford. Clifford now into the corner to Barja. Wide open, three's good, and you knew it wasn't going to last too long. KDBC very cold shooting, starting to heat up here late in this second quarter. Kendall Mick right in front of the KWC bench. Comes out by the volleyball line, go over to Landon. Landon with the drive, turn face, go back out to Ellis. 15 on the shot clock. Right point to Mick, feed it down low to Ken. Nice catch, double team comes, she'll use the dribble. Fine landed, Bridget from three, that's an air ball. Rebound picked up by the Panthers. Fine Clifford, now sending it ahead to McDonald. McDonald reaches the other way, but now double back out of it, out by the volleyball line here. Sent to the corner to Duncan, open for three, off the mark, no good. Bridget with the rebound. 50 seconds to go here until halftime. KWC with a 34-27 lead. Sam Marone, top of the key with the basketball, defended by Conley. Now dive into the lane, find Ken. Ken throw it up from two, got it. Sydney Ken. And credit Sam Marone getting in the lane and finding Sydney wide open. See if KWC goes two for one. They're not going to. Clifford, right side to Barja, back to Clifford. 15 on the shot clock. Ball comes to McDonald, now back right side, just working around the perimeter here in the lane. Now out to Clifford, left side Richardson, ball fake, pull up from the foul line, that's up and good. Ten seconds to go here, Oilers can get a shot, come down left side line to Ellis. Ellis, baseline drive, she's caught off, comes back to Landon, three seconds. Landon, throw it up from there, that's an air ball, and it'll be KDBC with a 36-29 lead here at the half. We'll send it back to the studio, 88.3 WLC and UFTV. When perfect is in the air, you can feel it. Presenting the ultimate comfort system from Lennox, the most advanced heating and air conditioning system ever. Now the ability to finely tune your system is always at your fingertips. Expect consistently clean and perfect air delivered by an eco-friendly system that's also the most efficient available. All while operating at a noise level that is well, unheard of. Maybe it's time to rethink your air with the ultimate comfort system from Lennox.
action. Ladies trail KWC 36 to 29. It's a great second quarter by KWC, 22 points compared to 15 by Finley. The biggest lead for Panthers, seven. The biggest lead for Finley is three. Both teams similar scoring runs, six for the Panthers, five for Finley. Lead, or the lead has changed one time, and the game has been tied six times. Finley led for about eight minutes, and KWC's led for about eight minutes. So fairly evenly played, but a nice flurry at the end, you might say, by the Panthers. So they're starting to heat up a little bit from three. Right now just shooting 24%. They've made six of 25 threes. Oilers, if they're going to be in this ball game, have got to take care of the basketball. They've turned it over 19 times. Brothers will start with the possession. And here's Schweiger across the timeline. Amber left point, now right point underneath to Cook. Cook up and in for two. Nice little switch up there. Coming out of the break there by head coach Jim Weedy. He'll get Rachel Cook a bucket right at the 10. Finley now within five and will work this 1-3-1. One, one. Clifford sent it right side to Miller. Miller now back left. And in the corner to Clifford, she's wide open for three. And off the back iron, rebound. Picked up by Bridget Landon. Don't want to leave her open. Oilers get away with one there. Schweiger at the top of the key. Still with it, calling out the set. Nearly turned it over. Comes to Landon. Landon pull up from the elbow. Up and good. Four straight points by Finley. Within three now. Miller. Back right side to Clifford. Back over to Miller and then in the corner. 4-3 is Duncan. That's in and out. No good, but an offensive rebound. No, picked up by Finley. Full court pass ahead to Utterback. Utterback, jump stop. Throw it with the right hand. Got it. Six straight points for the Oilers, and they're within one. Now into the corner to Johnson. Whistle and a foul. Actually, Richardson got that cut, or got that catch. Utterback picks up the foul. Miller on the baseline, come in to Clifford at the top, now left side. And back to Clifford, open for three again, no good. Rebound to Bridget Landon and out of bounds. Stay here with the Panthers. Send it into the left point to Clifford. 20 on the shot clock. Hand back to Miller. Now out by the volleyball line. Trying to get downhill. Get to the foul line. Turn in the paint. In trouble. Come out to Richardson. 10 on the shot clock. Now she loses the basketball. Whistle and will get a foul. Let her back pick up another foul. So she's got two quick ones here in the third quarter. Baseline out, again, out of bounds again for Lily Miller. Trying to go to Duncan, unable to do it. Find Clifford. Clifford, the baseline drive. Cut off, though, down at the block. Now has to come back out to Miller. 15 on the shot clock. She'll get into the paint, come to the corner. Three-point jumper on the way for the Panthers. No good, but an offensive rebound by Barga. Barga then will dribble out of pressure, go out. Three-pointer on the way, up and good. And actually, that was Richardson who got the rebound and found Barga for the three, and that stops the six-to-nothing run by the Oilers. Schweiger come around a high ball screen from Sydney Kinn. Panthers will hedge it and switch. Gets right to the 10, missed the layup, and now we get an off-the-ball foul. They say over the back on Bridget Landon. Substitution bring Conley back in the ball game. Conley will come in, Emma Johnson will come in, and also no lot. So four-point lead for KWC. Miller across the timeline, throw it over top to Johnson. Johnson back to Miller, right point. Back left side to no lot, get into the lane. Turn around with the right block, back right side to Richardson. Now down to short corner, Conley. Conley a ball fake, back to Richardson. She thought about the three, step inside the three-point line. Now extended to the other corner, stolen away by Cook. Cook now will find Schweiger. Now right sideline to Utterback. Utterback back to Landon. Landon looking inside, now put it on the floor, goes back to Amber inside Ken. Double team comes. Turn face. Throw it up from four. No good. A foul. And 
Sydney will go to the line to shoot two. One dribble for Ken, up and good. Others now within three. 7.15 to go here in this third quarter. Second opportunity in the air, that's also up and good. 39-37. Two-point advantage for KWC. Quickly back the other way comes no lock. Get down to the left block, cut off. Find Johnson at the foul line. Go back out, Richardson, little ball fake. Swing it over to Miller. Miller. Crossover dribble, turn, face, now back out. Richardson, 15 on the shot clock. Richardson in trouble at the foul line. Has to come back out, reset here with no lot. Left side of the floor, eight on the shot clock. No lot. Back out, Richardson. Ball fake, got her man up in the air, pull up. Jumper blocked away by Schweiger and rebounded away by Ken. Really good defense, understanding that Richardson not looking to take that three. Now the Oilers opportunity to tie this ball game or take a lead. Schweiger come right side to Cook. Cook lost her dribble. Throw it underneath the Amber. Up and no good. Underneath, knocked out of bounds by Conley. Really good look that time to get it into Schweiger. She just couldn't convert the layup. But it will be Finley basketball with 20 on the shot clock. Schweiger sent it in, top of the key to Landon. Now back to the corner to Amber. Find Utter back. Take the three and can't get it. Rebound, though. Comes to Ken. Her putback is good. Sydney Ken knocks it in. We're all tied up at 39. Go to Emma Johnson. Now back over to Miller. Miller sent it in the corner. Richardson, and she knocked it out of bounds. Turnover. So kind of an odd pass by Miller that time, and Richardson didn't even try to save it. Just let it go out of bounds. McDonald's checked in the ball game for the Panthers. She'll defend Schweiger as they go man-to-man. -man. Schweiger, crossover, try to get in the lane, come out to Cook. Cook, cross-court over to Utterback. Baseline drive by Allison. Now a step-back jumper on the way. That's off the mark. Rebound picked up by KWC and McDonald. McDonald in some trouble here. Picked up her dribble. Double team is there. And she threw it out of bounds. We're going to say off the hands of Landon. Substitution back in the ball game will come Duncan. Duncan will come in, and Richardson will come out. No lot to inbound. Throw it in the backcourt to McDonald. Start the offense here, 17 on the shot clock. Duncan, right side, then into the corner to Johnson. Take a three, no good. That's short. Rebound to No Lot. No Lot now will attack. And pulled up, thought she was going to take the shot, send it back out to McDonald. No good air ball, but there to pick up the junk, you might say, is Conley for the putback. Now we get a turnover back the other way, but before the turnover happens, we're going to get a foul against Conley. So that ball was set to go out of bounds, at least from my angle here. Now I'm high up here in Troy this year, but looked like it was about to go out of bounds, and Conley knocked her down. So Finley catches a break here. Pass will come in to Schweiger. Schweiger by the volleyball line here. Come left side to Utterback. Top of the key to Rachel Cook. Cook back left side to Schweiger. Cross court to Landon. 13 on the shot clock. Bridget lost it out of bounds off her foot. And then there's a turnover. Substitution, or excuse me, that will be immediate timeout. 4.58 to go here in this third quarter. KWC leads 41-39. Back to the studio, 88.3 WLC. When perfect is in the air, you can feel it. Presenting the ultimate comfort system from Lennox, the most advanced heating and air conditioning system ever. Now the ability to finely tune your system is always at your fingertips. Expect consistently clean and perfect air delivered by an eco-friendly system that's also the most efficient available. All while operating at a noise level that is well, unheard of. Maybe it's time to rethink your air with the ultimate comfort system from Lennox.
4.58 to go here in this third quarter. Oilers trail by two, 41 to 39 to KWC. Oilers outscoring the Panthers 10 to 5 here early on in this third quarter. It will be Panther basketball. No lot will send it in to McDonald. Oilers 1 3 1 defense. No lot with the possession. Nice pass inside all alone underneath is Barja. And Barga knocks it in. Four-point lead for Kentucky Wesley now. Here's Schweiger back the other way. Hand off to Utterback. Allison sent it in underneath to no one in particular and turned it over. Picked up by Nolot. Nolot back the other way. Crossover. Get to the foul line. In some trouble. Come left side to Barga. Now back out to Clifford. Clifford will reset the offense here from the top of the key. Left side to Nolot. 15 on the shot clock. Sent it right side to Duncan. Duncan defended by six foot tall Landon. Now back left side. Now come over the right to Clifford. Five on the shot clock. Clifford diving the lane. Throw it up with the right hand. No good. Rebound. Amber Schweiger. Oh, there's one to run. Amber quickly back the other way. Right side over to Utterback. Cross court to Cook. Rachel open for three. She'll take it. And no good. Rebound on the floor. It actually bounced. And KWC nice box out. Duncan able to corral it. Duncan back right side. Clifford turn it over. Just threw it away out of bounds. Substitution Richardson back in for KWC. Kendall Mick will check in for Allison Utterback. So four-point four lead for KWC. Oilers with the possession, though. Schweiger working against McDonald. Come across the timeline. Now left side. Turn, face, in trouble here. Picked up her dribble, finds Landon. Laying around a high ball screen to the right point. Now come back over and then inside to Kent. Up and no good. Nice run at the rim that time. Good pass. Sydney just left it short. Quickly back the other way. KWC will get a pull-up jumper this time by McDonald. Her shot no good. And Oilers have another opportunity off the rebound. Still trailing by four. Schweiger over to Mick. Right side to the floor. Now Kendall put it on the floor all the way out by the volleyball line. Hand back to Schweiger. Feed it down underneath to Kent. Go up strong with it. Can't get it, but she is fouled. And Sending the line to shoot two. Really having to work hard inside. Is facing a double and triple team nearly every time down the floor. Elizabeth Flynn will check in. Rachel Cook will check back out. Lily Miller also back in for Kentucky Wesleyan. Lots of substitutions by the Panthers here. They keep fresh, that's for sure. Foul shot up and good for Sydney Ken. Or they're still perfect at the line. And I jinxed them because they missed that one. Sydney missed that one. So now six of seven, but goes out of bounds. And I believe they'll stay here with Finley. Sydney Ken, 15 points, six rebounds. Oilers within three at 43 to 40. It is Oilers basketball. Ball comes to Schweiger. Off the sideline, out of bounds. She'll dribble out by the volleyball line. Now left side to Kendall Mick. Mick, top to Keith Flynn. Flynn trying to find some space. Goes left over to Landon. Work the weave to Bridget. Bridget balls on the floor. Stolen away. Miller corrals it and whistle on a foul. Fouls goes against Kendall Mick. That's her first. Team's fourth here in the third quarter. And Richardson will inbound. Before that, I believe we'll have a substitution. Sam Marone comes in for Finley, and here we go. Miller working against Sam Marone, the 1-3-1. One, one. Richardson now into the corner to Clifford. Clifford, one dribble, back up top Richardson. Swing it left side to Grimes. Now, or excuse me, Miller. Now back out to Miller, top of the key. Over to Richardson, looking to feed it inside. They do to Barga. Lost the basketball. Comes back to Clifford on the right baseline. Eight on the shot clock. Ball finds Richardson. Into the lane, stolen away, but got it back. Goes back up with it, throws it off the side of the backboard. No good. And Kin with the board. Sam Marone, throw to the left sideline to Flynn. She'll dribble all the way back up to the top of the key. Over to the right side to Mick. Mick back, left-handed dribble. Trying to go inside, has to go cross it over to the left corner to Landon. Ten on the shot clock. Landon dumped down inside to Ken. Tough patch, great catch. Go up with it. Bucket and the foul for Sidney Ken. And what an unbelievable catch by Sidney. And now opportunity for the three-point play here to, to tie this one up. 
Substitution, bring Emma Johnson in, Conley in, and no lot in. So Sydney at the line, five of six there, make it six of seven. All tied up at 43. So far, so good in the third quarter for the Oilers. Sydney will come out, Paige Bellman will come in. 17 big points for the 6 3 junior from Cary, Ohio. Miller, throw it over the top of the 1 3 1 to Richardson. Richardson jump stop back to Miller. Miller back over to Richardson. Dumped down underneath the Conley. Tough catch. She got, she got it, but then she's fouled as she goes back up for the layup. Foul will go against Paige Bellman, and Conley will go to the line to shoot two. First foul shot for Conley in the air. That's off the back iron. No good. Second opportunity is in the air. That one is good. So split the pair. KWC now up 44-43. Both teams, all four timeouts. This is close. We'll select a flurry of timeouts here at the end of Vance of Basketball. Back right side, Mick. Kendall open for three. No good. Rebound, Conley. Good look at it. But now stolen away by Sam Marone. Serena pull up from four. Off the back iron. No good. Got her own rebound. Great hustle by Serena. Find Mick. Cross court left side to Flynn. Flynn now will dribble out, and they'll restart it with Sam Marone out by the volleyball line. Serena on the move. Dives in the paint. Find Bellman. Bellman turn face, throw it up the right hand, bucket's good. What a play by Serena Samarone to get the steal, get her off on offensive rebound, then find Bellman underneath. Oilers now lead by one. One minute to play here in the third. Johnson, ball up over her head, come back left side, Miller. Miller sent it back side to Johnson. She'll hand back to Richardson right in front of the KWC bench. Lost her dribble at the right point, finds Johnson, 10 on the shot clock, feed it down the short corner, and that's the turnover. Conley just dribbled it out of bounds. We'll just go two for one here, 15 second differential. Serena running down the right sideline, all the way to the short corner, throw it left side, Flynn. Flynn down the left short corner, then back out to Landon. Landon dribble drive, throw it up left hand, got it, Bridget Landon. Where there's a three point lead, and KWC will throw it quickly the other way, nearly turns it over. Find no lot, no lot up top to Miller. Now they'll hold for the last shot. Johnson then quickly into the corner to Richardson. Dribble down to the short corner, then back out to Miller at the top of the key. Miller sent it right side to Nolot. Nolot back, left side Miller in the lane. Go back to Nolot, take a three. That's going to be an air ball. Three seconds to go. Conley put back is good. Nice rebound by Conley. Put back to end the third quarter. Oilers, though, lead it here at the end of three, 47-46. Back to studio, 88.3 WLFC and UFTV. When perfect is in the air, you can feel it. Presenting the ultimate comfort system from Lennox, the most advanced heating and air conditioning system ever. Now the ability to finely tune your system is always at your fingertips. Expect consistently clean and perfect air delivered by an eco-friendly system that's also the most efficient available. All while operating at a noise level that is, well, unheard of. Maybe it's time to rethink your air with the ultimate comfort system from Lennox. Welcome back to Knee Camp Arena. And allow me uh, to apologize. I had my roster wrong here. Been saying Conley 
for all those buckets. And it's Walton. Talia Walton. Credit her on the putback. And we'll correct that. And that roster incorrect up here, so we'll get it right now. Here's Johnson back over the top to Grimes. Grimes left side to Johnson. Johnson over in the corner to no lot, trying to find space. Comes out to Johnson. 14 on the shot clock. Back right side, Grimes. Grimes, drill drive in the lane. Scoop to left hand up and good for Grimes. Nice runner in the lane that time. KWC regains the lead. 48 to 47. Conley, or excuse me, Sam Arone around a high ball screen. Dive in the lane. Nice rebound to Walton. Full court pass ahead. Grimes is going to try, or excuse me, Miller is going to try to run it down. First put uh, first shot no good, but then got the got the rebound and now should go to line to shoot too. Go ahead and look at the stats here so we can correct some of this with Kentucky Wesleyan College. Talia Walton, four or six from the floor, eleven points. She's come off the bench also with five rebounds. Miller's first foul shot up in good. Second opportunity for Miller. No good. Rebound to Bellman. Sam Marone across the timeline. Now will come left side over to Flynn. Flynn looking underneath to Landon. Throw it up for two. Got it. Nice job, Bridget Landon. Good position underneath. All tied up at 49. Miller left side to Johnson. Johnson one dribble. Come back to Miller. Miller over the top to Johnson. Now into the corner. No lot. Trying to find some space. Nice little move there. Un lost it out of bounds. Say knocked out of bounds by Bellman. So he'll stay here with KWC. Ball comes up top to Johnson, left side, no lot. Looking underneath to Walton, not there. Back to Johnson. Johnson from downtown, no good. Rebound battled for, and Sam Marone corrals it. Sam Marone down the right sideline to Mick. Find Bellman. Bellman then left side to Flynn. Flynn from downtown, no good. Long rebound gets tapped around and out of bounds. Timeout, KWC, all tied up at 49. Wait and see if it's a full or a 30. It will be immediate timeout, so 8.22 to go here. All tied up at 49. This is 88.3 WLFC and UFTV. When perfect is in the air, you can feel it. Presenting the ultimate comfort system from Lennox, the most advanced heating and air conditioning system ever. Now, the ability to finely tune your system is always at your fingertips. Expect consistently clean and perfect air, delivered by an eco-friendly system that's also the most efficient available. All while operating at a noise level that is, well, unheard of. Maybe it's time to rethink your air with the ultimate comfort system from Lennox. Welcome back to Knee Camp Arena. I want to apologize to the people down in Kentucky Westland. Had it completely wrong on my mind the whole time. Number 21 is, to, uh, is Talia Walton, and she's had an outstanding game, 11 points, 5 rebounds, so we got her figured out now. All tied up at 49, KWC with the basketball. Clifford right side. Now swinging over left. Nice catch by Nolot. Nolot come back to Clifford. Swinging around the perimeter. Back up top, Barga, she'll take the three off the front iron, no good, and a rebound picked up by Samarone. She'll run it back the other way. Samarone, stop, pop, jumper's good. Just inside the foul line, knocked it in. Serena Samarone has played well here today, and the Oilers lead it by two. Back right side to Clifford. Clifford swinging over. 
to McDonald. Those two will play to catch. Back to McDonald, left side, dive in the lane. Nice pass underneath, throw it up from there. Bucket's good. Really nice catch underneath. That's Barga again. And we're tied up at 51. Flynn into the lane, come back up top to Landon. Landon, turn, face, take a five-foot jumper. Good again. Bodies flying everywhere. No whistles. Two-point lead by the Oilers as back and forth we go. Send it left corner to Duncan. Now out to Clifford, left side of the floor. Top of the key, McDonald. Go back to Duncan. Now back up top right point. No lot. Looking to go downhill. Can't do it. Come out to Clifford. Kaylee Clifford from downtown is, in, is off the front iron. Rebound Paige Bellman. Serena, left sideline, right in front of the Finley bench here to Landon. Now back right point to Samarone. Underneath the Bellman, up and in for two. And great pass by Samarone. And also, nice catch underneath Paige Bellman. Oilers with a four point lead. A couple substitutions here at the next dead ball. McDonald, cross court into the corner. Now back out to Clifford. Thought about the three. KWC not as confident from the three range here. They've struggled to shoot it. Now comes the corner. We get a three ball and up and in. And just as I make that comment, Barga makes them pay. Hung around the rim a few times and goes in. KBC within one, 55-54. Flynn now with the basketball at the volleyball line. Goes right side. Up top to Bellman. Back left, San Marone. Ten on the shot clock. Serena wanted to go inside, not able to do it. Cross court over to Mick. Five on the shot clock. Or he's got to get his shot off. Ball comes to Bellman. Bellman over to Flynn. One on the clock. It'll be a shot clock violation. And good defense by the Panthers. Several substitutions. Utterback will come into the ball game. Also Schweiger and Cook. Miller will check in as well. Miller comes in. And McDonald comes out. Miller over the top to Johnson. Now back to Miller. 1-3-1 defense here for the Oilers. Back left side, Johnson. 18 on the shot clock. Come into the lane for Miller. Turn face. Send it out to Barga. Barga for three. Left it short. Rebound under back. But Walton stole it away from her. Now baseline drive by Walton. Lost it out of bounds and turned it over. Oilers with a one-point lead, 55-54. 5.25 to go here in this fourth quarter. Schweiger across the timeline. Wanted to go around the screen, but picked her dribble up. Go to Bellman, then back right side to Utterback. Allison from downtown buries it. Allison Utterback knocks that one in from long range. Oilers back up by four. Johnson, nice pass underneath. Now coming to Walton. Walton with one dribble. Turn face, throw it up with the right hand. Got it. Lead cut down to two off the Walton bucket. Quickly back the other way. Utterback, same spot. Different result. That one's left short. No good. Now under five to play here in the fourth. Miller out by the volleyball line. Passes underneath the Walton. Up and no good. Missed it. Paige Bellman with the board. Point blank range right that, that time for Walton. Unable to connect. Schweiger. Waiting for the set from Jim Weedy. Come around a high ball screen. Get to the 10. Throw it up from four. Got it. And Amber Schweiger got a nice screen from Paige Bellman. And the offense is really picked up here for the Oilers here in the second half. Johnson. Back right side to Miller. Now into the corner. Cross court back to Johnson. She'll take another three. That one's good. And I believe that's the first three that she's made is... And she feels like she got her mon got the monkey off her back there. Nice big smile. And KWC within one. Schweiger at the right point. Now a handoff to other back. Come to Bellman, top of the key. Look underneath to Landon. Tough catch. Able to crowd one dribble up and in for two. Weathers well, taking advantage of their size here. And lead it by three. Miller. Left side to Johnson. Thought about it. Now come back over to Miller. 20 on the shot clock, step inside, go back out to Johnson, same spot, buries it again, back-to-back -back threes by Emma Johnson. We're all tied up at 62. Emma Johnson now, 2 of 11 from downtown. She's made two straight. 
Schweiger on the right sideline, fitted inside, stolen away by Walton. 3.13 to go here in this fourth quarter. Walton will handle it. She'll come all the way down, get to the elbow, pass underneath, wide open as Duncan Buckets. Good timeout, Jim Weedy. I believe a six-point six run, no, seven-point run here for KWC. They lead at 64-62. It's a media timeout. Back to Studio 88.3 WLFC. You might be surprised at how much money is in the walls of this old house. With a Union Bank Home Equity line of credit, the equity from your home can be used for whatever you need. College tuition, paying off those credit cards, even home improvement. And there are no closing costs. Best of all, you work with Union Bank Loan Professionals right here in your hometown. Go to theubank.com for details. Union Bank, your community bank. Equal Housing Lender, Union member FDIC. Welcome back to Neat Camp Arena. 303 to go in the fourth. Been a great ball game here. KWC leads it 64 to 62. They outscored the others 18 to 15 here in the fourth quarter. Cindy Ken leads Finley with 18 points. Jordan Barga leads KWC with 20 points and seven rebounds. Oilers with the possession. Schweiger come across the timeline. Will hand off to Utterback, cross-court pass over to Flynn right in front of the Finley bench, come to Cook. Cook back right point to Utterback. Utterback left-handed dribble. Good defense here by KWC, enforce a turnover, try to go inside to Ken, but just threw it away. Richardson quickly back the other way, hand back to Clifford, now into the corner, now back out to Nolot. Open for three, she'll take it, that's no good. Utterback with the rebound. Nolot, really good look there, unable to connect. Schweiger out by the volleyball line. Come around a high ball screen, get into the lane, kick out Utterback. Lawson airballed it, rebound to Clifford. Send it ahead. Here's McDonald. Come to the foul line, go back to Johnson, a little ball fake. Now come back up top to Clifford, wide open for three, and that's good. And Jim Weedy talked about it quite a bit in the pregame about how good a shooter's. These are these guys. These uh, gals are from KWC, and they haven't showed it throughout the game. But here in the fourth quarter, finding a way for to make some threes. Right now, the scoreboard's wrong. By my count, it should be 67 to 62. I believe that three, that last three, was credited to Finley. And we'll see if they get it corrected. 2:01 to play here in the fourth. It's a 30-second timeout. And I believe they are going to get it corrected. So here we go. Yeah, 67-62 off the three. The last score was 64-62. So able to get it uh, corrected here on press row. Oilers down by seven at the half. Outscored KWC 18-10 in that third quarter. But uh, credit the Panthers as they found themselves down by as many as five points here late in that third and early in the fourth. And now have come back to take a five-point lead. So it will be, we'll be Oiler basketball. Ball comes into Schweiger. Schweiger will take it across the timeline. Come right side over to Utterback. Utterback around a high ball screen from Ken. Left side Flynn. Flynn on the move. Right-handed dribble. Oilers look confused out here. Comes to Cook. Ball fake. Got a man up in the air. Take the three. Off the mark. Rebound. To Clifford. Richardson will come back the other way. Now hand back to Clifford out by the volleyball line. Back to Richardson. Richardson beat the double team. Sending it in the corner to uh, out top down to no lot. No lot right side to McDonald. Ten on the shot clock. 
Donald come around a high ball screen, get in the lane, pull up, whistle, and a foul. It's going to go against the Oilers before the shot. Bridget leaning back in the ball game. Flynn will come out. Walton in as well, and Duncan. Baseline out of bounds here for KWC. It'll be Miller to inbound. Come into Clifford. Clifford will hand off to Miller. And now stand out by the half court stripe. Miller looking to get downhill here. Not able to do it. Nearly stolen away. Ball's on the floor. Walton picks it up. Throw it up underneath to Clifford. She corrals it. Pulls it up and misses it. Air ball picked up by Ken. Oilers with an opportunity here. Schweiger, top of the key, left side to Cook. Feed it down underneath to Landon. Go up from there. Bucket and the foul for Bridget Landon. So 67-64, 50.9 seconds remaining. Bridget here at the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. She's able to convert. 67-65, 50 seconds remaining. Clifford will take it across the timeline, go back over to Miller. Miller sent it right side to Varga. Those two will play catch. 15 on the shot clock. Ball comes to the corner of the Duncan. Now out to Miller. Back right side, Clifford. Nine on the shot clock, 28 on the game clock. Walton. Now we'll hand back to Clifford. Still on the right side of the floor. Three seconds remaining. Send out Miller. Miller from way downtown. It's an air ball and out of bounds. And now Jim Weedy will take a timeout. Oilers down two with 19.7 remaining. So the Oilers will advance the basketball. And wait and see if we go with a four or 30 second timeout. I believe it will be a 30 second timeout. Nope, they're going to extend it to a full timeout. Let's go ahead and step aside for 30 seconds on the home of the Oilers 88.3 WLC. Osbro Rental Property is a family owned and operated residential rental company serving Findlay, Ohio. For over 50 years, Wasbro Rental Property has helped residents find the right apartment to fit their needs. Go to the Sherman House and Wasbro Rental Property LLC on Facebook for more rental information or call 419-423-8321. Wasbro is proud to support the University of Finley. They're shooting 51%. KWC, KWC shooting 37% on 25 of 67 from the floor. They've made 11 threes on 43 attempts. Oilers have turned it over 25 times today. KWC 16 times. Oilers with a big number of points in the paint, 40. Varga leads KWC with 20 points, but it's Oilers basketball on the sideline right in front of the Finley bench. See what head coach Jim Weedy draws up for this one. Post up to Landon. Landon will turn and face, use the dribble. Little four-foot floater, no good. Out of bounds, stays here with KWC. So they try to go ahead and post up Bridget Landon underneath. Walton, pretty good defense underneath. 15.3 left. Schweiger. Nearly turned it over, but it comes into Utterback. Utterback back to Amber. Amber, hand off to Cook. Nine seconds to go here. Go back to Schweiger. Schweiger, top of the key. Jim Whitty wants a timeout with 5.2 left. So the Oilers run down the clock here. Look confused all offensively. 30-second timeout, so 5.2 left. The first opportunity there from the sideline was they were trying to get it, just go ahead and post up Bridget right away. But good defense by Kentucky Westland. And then Finley trying to find some backdoor cuts in that last 10 seconds, but unable to do it. So 5.2 and a 67-65 lead for KWC. 
Oilers going to go with, I believe, Sidney Kin, Bridget Landon, Allison Underback, Amber Schweiger, and Rachel Cook. <coughs> So the sideline out of bounds, Schweiger will inbound. Schweiger looking to go inside, has to go to Ken. Ken, four seconds. She'll go ahead and back her way in, throw it up from four, no good. Rebound put back up and good. I think they're going to count it, yes. They count the bucket. As Ken missed the initial shot, Landon with the tip in, off the glass and good. The official said they counted the bucket, but I believe they're going to go ahead and look at the monitor here to make sure that the basket was good. So they just go ahead and the Oilers just throw it in near the volleyball line to Sydney Ken. Sydney puts her head down, drives all the way in, had a really good look at it. But credit Bridge and Landon. Tipping it up off the glass and in, and it was close. Right at the buzzer. But the call on the floor was the bucket was good. So they're going to have to see something on film here to reverse this, if that's the case. Our three officials here today, Jordan Pingle, Kyle Potcutter, and Steve Lazaroff. Right now, Jordan Pingle and Steve Lazaroff are the ones looking at this replay. And now Kyle Pockcutter will come in and take a look. So just a great game here in Knee Camp Arena. Both teams battling hard in this one. And right now, the scoreboard says we're all tied up at 67, but wait and see. Sidney Kin leads away for the Oilers at 18 points, 8 rebounds. Bridget Landon, 17 and 7 for her. And Rachel Cook, 8 points, 2 boards. And Allison Utterback, nice game today, he has 7. And now the officials are all going to come together to talk about this. All three in the middle here. It's kind of a Weird situation with no crowd here. And everybody kind of just looking to the middle, decide if we're going to go to overtime or if we're going to have a result. And still conversating. And now another the official, now Steve Lazaroff, is going to come back in and take another look at it. This must be really close. The Oilers were down by five. We were able to get an and one from Bridget Landon. Then got a stop. And now what we believe is a putback. But still no official ruling here from our three guys in stripes. And at the Division II level, there's only just one or two angles that you can look at. There's cameras above the basket, and then there's the overall camera that sits at mid-court. It's not like Division One, where you have maybe seven or eight different options. So the fact that these guys are looking at it for this long tells me this really comes right down to the wire. Sydney took the shot with right about one second trying to determine whether the ball was still in the hands of Bridget Landon or not. And so they're going to count the bucket officially here. And so we will have overtime, 67 apiece. And we'll go ahead and play an extra stanza here as they count the bucket. And I think a lot of times it goes back to what's the initial ruling and the initial ruling was they counted the bucket. And so now the Oilers and Panthers will go ahead and play an extra set of five. So here we go. Sidney Kinn and Kaylee Clifford. 
Look at some of the foul trouble here while we have an opportunity. Still some conversating among the officials. Richardson has four fouls for, no, excuse me, she has two fouls. No real foul trouble for any team. And now we'll get Jordan Pingle to walk to the center stripe. It'll be Ken and Clifford to jump it. And the Oilers win the tap. So here comes Schweiger in this overtime period. Right side to Landon. Feed it underneath the Cook. Nice catch. One drill. Back up with the right hand. It's good. A nice start to the overtime. Rachel Cook underneath. Oilers lead at 69-67. Back right side to Clifford. Send it left to Miller. Miller, a couple dribbles, now find no line at the right point. Back over left side, then into the corner. Three-point jumper on the way is an air ball, but Walton is there again for the rebound. Her put back no good, then stolen away, but picked up by the Oilers on the loose ball. Schweiger come around a high ball screen to the top of the key. Now double back, get to the elbow, back out to Cook. Cook. Underneath the Ken, nice catch, throw it up from there, missed it short, rebound on the floor, Schweiger corrals it, she'll throw it up by four, that's off the back iron, no good, and no lot with the rebound. Quick outlet to Grimes, Grimes, line to the lane, kicked out to the left side, go up with the shot, does Varga, and she's fouled. So two foul shots coming for Varga. So Bargo be at the line here. She has 20 points here today. First foul shot up and good. And got them both. All tied up at 69. Under four to play here in overtime. Schweiger defended by Miller as she comes across the timeline. Left point to Ken. Ken at six foot three will handle it. Go right side to Schweiger. Now find Utter back at the top of the key. Allison come back left to Cook, looking to go underneath to Ken. Back up top, swing it right side. Now come down low to Sydney. Up and blocked away. Blocked away by Clifford and rebounded by KWC. They're on the move. Here's Miller out by the the volleyball line, working against the one three one. Richardson right side. Couple of ball fakes, throw it underneath the Barga. She lost it. Ball's on the floor. Going to be a jump ball. It'll stay with the Panthers. Possession. Miller, come right side and whistle on a foul. That's going to go against Utterback. I believe that's her third. Kendall Mix going to check into the ball game. Actually, the fourth against Utterback. Miller to inbound. Throwing it up top to Clifford, left side to Duncan. Now back to Clifford, open for three. She'll take it in and out, no good. Mick with the board. All tied up at 69 here. Now closing on three-minute mark in overtime. Schweiger out by the volleyball line. Come left side over to Mick. Mick up top to Cook. Rachel open, she'll take it. Off the back iron, rebound to Landon. Now back to Mick. Kendall for three. Off the back iron again. Another offensive rebound. Ken here. Fall away. No good. And rebound to Clifford. So three good looks there at the bucket. No dice for the Oilers. Come to the corner to Richardson. 20 on the shot clock. She'll pass it up top of the key to Clifford. Now back to Richardson. Out by the, out by the volleyball line here. Right side of the floor. Left side. Now into the corner to Barga. 12 on the shot clock. Both teams look a little tired. Miller, top to key, feed it underneath the Clifford, throw the right hand, swatted away by Ken and picked up by Rachel Cook. 2-10 to go in the overtime. Still all tied up at 69. Pace is really slowed down. Top to key, landed, feed it underneath the Ken, tough catch, step through, missed the layup, got her own rebound, put back no good, and she's fouled to go to the line to shoot two. Substitutions, Johnson in the ball game, Walton in, and McDonald. Walton. 
Foul shot in the air for Kinn. Rattles home. Oilers with the lead. 70-69. Second opportunity also good. 71-69. Oilers out in front by two. And at the two-minute mark, Johnson across the timeline. Back to McDonald. Those two will play catch. McDonald left side. 18 on the shot clock. Ball fake. Come back right point to Richardson. On the move, get into the foul line. Back out to McDonald, 10 on the shot clock. Everything out on the perimeter. Ball comes to the corner to Richardson. She'll drive in the lane, scoop the hoop, goes off her knee and out of bounds. So Oilers turn it over, or excuse me, KWC turns it over. And now with a two-point lead, Finley with the basketball. Schweiger across the center stripe. Defended by McDonald. Come left side over to Mick. Mick, top of the key to Cook. Oh, Rachel, take the three. She does. And, oh, boy, what a great look. Just doesn't get to go in. Whistle and a foul. It's going to go against KWC. I believe that's a, just the third team foul. So, maybe baseline out of bounds. Schwager to inbound underneath her own bucket here. Try to go into landing, can't do it. Up top to Kinn. Sydney holding the basketball up over her head. Left side to Cook. Cook around the high ball screen, top the key to Schweiger. Schweiger come the other side, right side to Mick. Top the key, landed, landed on the move. Scoop to left hand, blocked away by Walton. But offensive rebound, Kinn. Put back is good. Sydney Kinn. Having her way underneath and a four-point lead for Finley. 57 seconds to go here. Johnson by the volleyball line. Left side to Miller. Miller one dribble back over to Richardson. Now in the corner to Johnson. Johnson is fouled, and that will send her to the line to shoot two. Mick came out to defend the three and fouled her, but not a shooting foul, but it would just be shooting two shots here. Substitution, Barga back in the ball game for KWC. Also, Clifford will check in as well. Foul shot in the air, no good for Johnson. Second opportunity at the line. Is good. So 73 70, 48 seconds remaining. Ball comes ahead here to Schweiger. Schweiger now just dribble the basketball here. Oh, there's one to run some clock. KWC electing not to foul. Schweiger. 15 on the shot clock, still with it out by the half court stripe. Now start the offense, 10 on the shot clock. Picked up her dribble, go to Kent. Sydney from downtown. Bang! Sydney Kinn, nobody guarded her. Knocks it in. Oilers down by six. 20 seconds remaining. Sent it right side. Nearly stolen away. Duncan in the short corner. Out to Miller. Miller dribble drive in the lane. Left-handed layup is up and good. Timeout KWC. So we'll wait and see here. 32nd or 60. It's going to be a full timeout. So send it back to the studio. Oilers up by four. 88.3 WLC. Osbro Rental Property is a family-owned and operated residential rental company serving Findlay, Ohio. For over 50 years, Wasbro Rental Property has helped residents find the right apartment to fit their needs. Go to the Sherman House and Wasbro Rental Property LLC on Facebook for more rental information or call 419-423-8321. Wasbro is proud to support the University of Findlay So KWC asked for the timeout, but the Oilers are granted the timeout because they wanted to advance the basketball. So 11.5 left. Oilers up by four and have possession. Finley looking to inbound. Throw it in up top to Schwager. She's fouled immediately with 10.2 left. And now we'll go to the line to shoot two free throws. 
Well, no. Not enough fouls yet for KWC, so it'll be sideline out of bounds. Oilers can throw this one towards the bucket if they want. Nope. Good adjustment there by Kentucky Wesson. Ball comes into Ken. Ken is fouled. Now Sydney will go to line for two foul shots. So Ken, who's been outstanding here today, two opportunities at the line. That's Sydney with 18 points. I have her with 21. Live stats hasn't updated. First foul shot up and good. 77 72. Second opportunity in the air. Missed that one. So lead stays at five. I have a timeout by Kentucky Wesleyan. 7.3 remaining. I believe it'll be a 30 second timeout. Yep, it's going to be a 30 second timeout. So we'll keep it right here. Look at the upcoming schedule. Or there's back in action, I believe, on January 2nd when Hillsdale comes to town. There is talk of maybe a, a possibly on the women's side a game on January or on December 31st. Jill trying to work that here. It's been an interesting schedule with working in the uh, or working with the, the COVID situation. Several teams yet to play a game in the GMAC. Some games have played every, played every opportunity they've had, or some teams have had every opportunity they've had. So it's been a Certainly a weird 2020. Looking forward to 2021. So it'll be sideline out of bounds here for KWC. 77-72. Oilers out in front. KWC is going to have to go quick. But before we get that, we have our officials, I believe, looking at the clock to see if they need to add more time. Again, that'd be my guess as far as what they would be looking at right now. Just, and I think they looks like they're going to leave everything right where it's at. So sideline out of bounds for Clifford. Clifford goes into Miller. Miller. Gets to the 10, in some trouble, just three seconds left. Backdoor cut, ball's on the floor, and that's going to be it. Great defense by the Oilers, and Finley in a heck of a ball game, well played by both teams, outlast Kentucky Wesleyan to win. 77-72, Oilers get a much-needed victory. And they're now 3-2 and two on the year. And this is a team the Oilers lost to three times last year and get the big 77-72 win. Well, that's... Send it back to the studio. When we come back, we'll have the final stats on the home of the Oilers, 88.3 WLC. Hey, hold it for a while, Ron.
All right. We'll go ahead. We're not going to get stats, so send it back here, and I'll just do a recap, and we'll get out of here. 